table. I'm Tanisha and I was going to share today with you five awesome ideas for um, a science fair project for elementary school aged kids. Um, we're just coming off a weekend where we went to a um, science fair so it's all fresh in my mind and I thought I would share it with you as well as a few clips that I'll insert but it kind of depends on how the clips turn out, um, what I'm going to include. But I just thought I'd share some ideas with you if you have a science fair coming up or you're thinking about putting a science fair together. Um, we had the um, opportunity to be able to attend a science fair and um, that some ladies put on. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. They put so much work into it, you could tell. They um, had everything all organized, all, all different um, ages and all different projects laid out and I'm going to tell you some of our favorites that we saw and it might give you some ideas and tell you also what our family decided to do for our um, science fair project. So let's get right into it. I got my notebook here, my awesome Dollar Tree. <laughs> no problem. Um, I put all my stuff in this little notebook here. Carry it around with me everywhere. So the first um, project, of course, is the standard um, volcano. There has to be one kid at every science fair that does a volcano. There just has to be. So if someone is not doing the volcano project at your, at your science fair you're going to, your kid should be the one to do it. It was so fun. In fact, after they did it, the kids lined up. Um, and all got an opportunity to mix some of the ingredients to make the volcano erupt. So that was pretty awesome and they enjoyed that. Um, secondly, second project, um, my son especially, he saw the microscope sitting there and he was obsessed. Even later when we were going on to other science type activities that had to do with the science fair, he kept sneaking back to go look at this microscope. He wanted to look through it. So if you could do a poster board on using a microscope and what you can see in it and um, looking at cells or germs, awesome topic. I mean, he's five and he was just, mom, we got to get a microscope. He needed, he kept calling it a telescope. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> um, Third project that was one of our top, that was our top favorite was, um, which I think two people did this at the science fair we were at, was butterflies. And they were uh, in those netting and they had uh, brought the little uh, chrysalis so you could see. They had a whole poster explaining the process and then they actually had butterflies there. And of course, my son uh, was like, what happens if you unzip this and let them out? But, Thank goodness that didn't happen, but it was really neat to see and we really enjoyed that. So if you were thinking about doing something uh, kind of neat to bring along for others to enjoy, awesome choice. Um, the fourth one, which actually is kind of a, there's two in this one. <laughs> one was, um, they did all the, which is kind of weird. I was more into it than the kids probably, but I thought it was really interesting. They had six jars out with different processes of, or different time uh, that they had the fruit in there and how it was molding and like the process of mold and how mold goes. And I think that was really interesting, but if the kid's not into it, the kids were really into this other one, which would be the real kid interest number four one, not the adult one, um, which was the mold. But um, they love the dry ice bubbles. Like they did a whole demonstration with dry ice on the stage. The kids were so into it, watching just kind of like <laughs> the dry ice steam coming up and it was awesome. Yeah, I can't blame them for loving it. Um, and the last one, number five, which is what we actually did, was we picked a state where somewhere we're going to go visit, and we decided to investigate its terrain and animals. So we're going to be visiting Hawaii. We're planning a family trip. So I thought, what a better opportunity than to use uh, the science fair as a chance to slowly investigate different animals and features of um, the Hawaiian Islands. So. We did that, the kids had a blast, they learned a ton, and plus it was a really great poster because they got to learn about the sharks and the sea turtles and all the different things, volcanoes and things, and they did an excellent job on their presentation. They even had like a little microphone where they got to talk in, into it to the audience, and my son even got to participate. Um, he got to show pictures and pass things out. So they got some um, speaking experience in front of a, a group and also, uh, 
you know, just got to practice their presentation and be really familiar with the material. So that was really enjoyable and we had a really great time and we are already on the car ride home. We're already thinking about what projects we could do for next year. So um, those were just some of the ones we saw, we enjoyed. I thought it was such a great experience for them. They really, they made friends. They, um, oh, another awesome thing. <laughs> if you are at a science fair and you have your poster up, and you want to get extra points and just get people, uh, kids to come by to your booth, have something you're passing out. We had, all the moms had different little, one uh, had pens, like all these brightly colored pens with the name of the science fair and the year on it. Another mom had um, little individual bags with like little gifts and candies and treats for each kid that came by their booth. And I just thought that that was really special. So my kids had a lot of junk food, lots of candy from that. Not, not gonna lie, that happened, but <laughs> they really enjoyed it. At one point my daughter said, mom, this is the best day of my life. So I would say she had a pretty terrific time. <laughs> Anyways, if you get a chance to go to a science fair, definitely sign your kids up. I mean, at least the one we went to was super awesome. We had a great time. And um, hopefully we get to do it again next year. And hopefully this video gave you some ideas if you um, are trying to figure out, well, what should we do? What would other kids enjoy seeing? What um, will my kid enjoy making? So I hope you get a chance to do that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.